Welcome to the What's Our Verdict podcast, where we fashion ourselves cinematic judge and jury. My name is JJ Crowder. I'm here with my co-hosts, Matt Heiner. Better red than dead. And Alec Burgess. Let's get it. Nice. We appreciate your help growing the podcast. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification buttons so you can always keep up on our spoiler-free reviews. Go check out our website, whatsourverdict.com, where you can sign up for our newsletter to get exclusive content and updates, and then you can interact with us there and pick up some merch. Question we always ask if you ever find yourself wondering if you should spend the time, money, or both on a movie. To help with that question, each week we put a movie on trial, discuss the facts, pass judgment, and let you know our verdict. Today we're reviewing Uncharted. It was released February 18th, 2022. It was written by Rafe Judkins and Art Markham. It was directed by Ruben Fleischer. It stars Tom Holland, Mark Wahlberg, Sophia Ali, Tati Gabriel, Rudy Pankow, Steve Waddington, and Antonio Banderas. Street smart Nathan Drake is recruited by seasoned treasure hunter Victor Sully Sullivan, to recover a fortune amassed by Ferdinand Magellan and lost 500 years ago after being hidden from the house of Moncada. This is our spoiler-free review. We'll rate this movie on a three-tiered scale. Worth it, meaning you should watch this movie as soon as possible. Stream it, meaning wait until you can watch it for free. Finally, not impressed, meaning you shouldn't watch this movie at all. You can listen to our deep dive review on Uncharted on Monday, February 28th. So with that, let's dive into spoiler-free. Alec, why don't you kick us off on the spoiler-free review of Uncharted, my friend? Happy to. Uh, like I said just a few minutes ago while we were talking before we started recording, uh, I'm four for four on the podcast. This movie was fantastic. Um, I'm not a huge Uncharted fan, uh, but my girlfriend is, so she actually played all of the games leading up to the movie. So I didn't mm-hmm. go in completely uh, you know, new to Uncharted. I knew a little bit of what was going on. But I love this movie. I think it's a worth it. Um, this movie to me was everything that, uh, I think it was red notice with the rock and Ryan Reynolds could have been, this was, this was the correct way to do that movie. Um, and Tom Holland really kind of stepped out of the Marvel, um, shadow that he's been in and really stood on his own two feet. And I, I, I was really impressed. I really enjoyed this movie. Um, and I'm going to be going to back to see it again, probably tomorrow. Nice. Well, sweet. We'll kick it off with a worth it. I like it. All right, Matson. Yeah, I think for me, this is a case of low expectations. Meet um, a movie that has exceeded them in, in a really good way. I, I, and I was talking to JJ a lot about this movie and I just I played Uncharted. I haven't played all of them. I played some of them. Um, I mean, one of the best playstation franchises out there absolutely i mean it's it's a to me it's a video game that plays like a movie which i think is a high high compliment you can give to a video game like uh the last of us is another game that i mean they're making right same JJ makers TV show. actually yeah same yeah. same naughty dog made both so well naughty dog doing big do, i mean crash Bandicoot. stories yeah um yep. But yeah, I mean, I think that's the highest compliment a a video game can be given, at least for me, uh, that it feels like it's immersive. And so usually, though, when you take movie, video games like that, import them into the actual movie world, it falls flat on its face. But I was pleasantly surprised that this movie didn't. I was entertained. And I will say for me, some of the plot and the suspension of disbelief and things and like, oh, that was convenient. There was some plot gaps that we'll get into personally that if the performances of Tom Hall and Mark Wahlberg, the chemistry that they had wasn't as strong, I think this movie would have just been a very generic kind of like ho-hum, like, yeah, like maybe go see it if you love Uncharted, give it some fan service. But it wasn't that. The chemistry from those two main actors was palpable. Uh, Their jokes, me, and I'm not someone, um, if you see a movie with me or or you're a good friend with me and such, I'm not the first person to laugh in a room. Um, I, I like my little brother, Chase, he's one of those people that everything's funnier with him around, but I myself was laughing out loud multiple times during this week. It was, there were some really good jokes in this movie that were just timely. And then it did strike on the chords of like where national treasure meets Indiana Jones in some aspects, which for me is a great space to be in as a, because I love movies like that, that throw in some history, uh, throw in some adventure, and then throwing some good one-liners along the way. That's an enjoyable movie. Is it the best movie I've ever seen? Absolutely not. But was it entertaining enough to deserve, I think, a a worth it for me? Yeah, I've been telling people, go see it. Go see it in theaters. It's visually appealing. It's fun to see the chemistry on screen. And I left 
being happy. I was surprised and I liked it. Nice. Couple of worth it. Um, yeah, I, I went in, I'll be honest. I went in with very low expectations because I do love the video games. I'm a huge uncharted fan. I'm a huge, anybody that's listening to this podcast knows I love the last of us. I love what naughty dog does. I think they tell great stories in video games, which is, is hard to like Madsen said, replicate in a movie because there's so many, you know, you have hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of video game time to flesh out these stories and these characters and, movies you get a couple hours and that's it and and so i really liked what they did with the movie i was pleasantly surprised um i was worried about tom holland as nathan drake because nathan drake is kind of this rugged you know like seasoned dude in the games and so i was like oh i don't know how this is gonna go but you know i think tom holland has such charisma on screen that regardless of like the little parts where i'm like he's a little young and he's a little baby faced for Nathan Dre. It still worked um, because of his charisma. And, and I don't usually like Mark Wahlberg that much, but, and there were times I was like, that was a very Mark Wahlberg scene. But uh, like you said, their play on each other was good enough that I was entertained and I had fun. And, and it was funny. We left and Casey was like, that was a cute movie. And I'm like, it was a cute movie. Like it's fun. It's entertaining. It's wholesome. It, there's some great action to it, no matter how unbelievable some of it is, but it was very video game-ish. And I think they did a good job, better than most, of capturing both sides of that, right? Like, it was enough of a movie and there was some believable elements and some interesting storyline and character development that kept me in, engaged in a movie. But they also weren't afraid to lean into the video game aspects of the fact that this was a video game first, right? They did some unrealistic things and some really out there shit that I was able to forgive because it was fun and it was, it was wild. You know what I mean? And Hey, look, I love Indiana Jones and I've tried to pretend that the fourth one didn't happen, but I still forgive the fact that they stuck him in a refrigerator and hit him with a nuke. I'm okay with that. I'll let it go. So if I can do that for Indiana Jones, I can definitely do it for Nathan Drake and uncharted. So I, and I'm with you, Alec. I think, you know, this was a chance for, you know, them to or i say them but really for tom holland to get out of the spider-man he's either done spider-man or he's done these really dark and heavy movies and so i yeah, thought it chaos was really walking good. and uh devil all the time which were he did great in both but whew, those movies yeah. for their own reasons were heavy mm -hmm. and cherry like he did the movie cherry on apple plus like he's done some really hard stuff so i was really impressed like it was just light-hearted but there was still enough and it wasn't Spider-Man, which I appreciated. So um, I, I like Tom Holland a lot. So I was really excited. So I'm going to give it a worth it. I'm probably on the low end of worth it. Like I could have been a convinced on a stream it just because, I mean, it is it, it is a goofy movie. But I, I was entertained, so I can't say that it's not worth going and seeing because I think it is. And in theaters, there's some spectacle that it's going to look better on a movie screen and sound better in a movie theater than it will in your house. And I can say that because I have a small movie theater in my house, basically. So <laughs> it's I think part of it is JJ with the AMC, the AMC membership I have in, but also just the lack of good movies that we've seen yeah. in theaters for, for what we've seen in theaters. This was a movie I was happy to have seen in a movie theater where a lot, I mean, we just talked about many from the past weeks that yeah. did not fit worth going to movie theater <laughs> for acting or CGI. Like for enough of that, like for what I, in my, or in my teenage years, I would have been happy to have walked out of this movie in a theater and be like, yeah, that was a good time. Had a good time with my friends, especially if you're seeing it with people, you will be laughing mm -hmm. with your friends or your, your girlfriend, whoever it is like this movie will get you to laugh. Yeah. It's a good one. I liked it. Well, and I will say just to kind of wrap it up too, like, it, it just was fun and lighthearted. Like, I think that's something that's been missing a lot too in movies is just be, have a good time. You know what I mean? And I think so many movies are trying to be so serious and so, you know, create these big universes and like Marvel's changed movie going, I, and whether you like it or not, it, they've changed how movies are made in a lot of ways, which is why you got these big, directors that shit on marvel all the time because they have to think different when they make their movies and this one does what it sets up a universe that i'm okay with even you know at the end you have the fact that 
I won't spoil it, but there's some big facts that show up in the in the credits. And so, I mean, it's it sets things up enough that I think it fits the mold of what we're looking for, but it was just fun. And I look forward to having fun. So I've been sad that critics have been shitting on this movie. And I'm like, deal with it. It, it wasn't meant to be an Oscar-winning movie. This was meant to be entertainment. And I think even we, Matt's and I, for sure, I'm sure, Alec, as you've listened to us so many times, we sometimes forget that movies are supposed to be entertaining. We don't always have to shit on them because they don't meet a certain standard of this, that, or the other. And I had well, fun I think, watching this movie. JJ, in the, the deep dive, everyone come listen. I think we should talk about that, the dichotomy between uh, the critics and like the Oscar winning movies versus just good movies yeah. that are never meant to maybe win an Oscar. And I think sometimes we're the, I just always say the common folk in this podcast, Alec, you've been elevated beyond common folk now that you're <laughs> now that you're here with us um but i think it's it's having a conversation around that and really talking about well, well what makes a good movie in the eyes of us versus the these supreme critics that mm -hmm. certainly know the movies better than all of us because I, I i find that their opinions are are not always something that i value yeah i agree all right. Well, there it is. Worth it's across the board. Go check out Uncharted, guys. It's fun. It's a, if you go in looking to have a good time, I think this movie will meet your expectations. Just let loose of your, you know, the like you said, suspend the belief. Wow, I can't fucking talk. Your suspension of disbelief has to be there, but just realize you're watching a video game movie and just have fun with it. Enjoy the the on screen antics and 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 the charisma that's there because it's all over the place. Like everybody. And there's, I, we'll talk about Antonio Banderas in the deep dive. I can't talk about him in this because there's big spoilers, but man, like even he was so fun to watch. And I love Antonio Banderas, but he was great in this movie. So until he wasn't, <laughs> so we'll talk about that. All right. So with that, Matt, to tell everybody where they can find us. Yeah. Check us out on social media, especially on Facebook and Instagram. What's our verdict.com to see what's upcoming. Um, some, some big movies upcoming, especially Batman where you are excited about. Um, and yeah, just let us know, leave it, drop us a comment. If you're like Alec and become a super fan, you may find yourself actually being a full-time MC here. So you never know. <laughs> <laughs> love it. All right. So with that, again, as always, we appreciate you tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. Whoa!